Hello, I'm Thijs, and in this video I will guide you through the exercises on singular value decomposition. This week uh, we only have two theoretical exercises. After a few weeks of um, intensive PyTorch work, um, we decided to give you some time to focus on the project, and uh, so the exercise set this week is quite light. Um, there are two questions. So one um, discusses how to compute singular value decomposition efficiently. Um, so imagine having a data matrix X of size D by N, where D is dimensionality, could be small, let's say 10, and N is the number of da uh, data points, which could be large, like a million. In that case, we saw that you can compute the singular value decomposition of the matrix X by doing an eigenvalue decomposition of X times X transposed. The dimensionality of this matrix is D times D. So that's really good if indeed, as we said, D is much smaller than N. Now, in some cases, you can have a matrix where you have many more features than data points. And in the first question, you are tasked to find a solution for this. So can you find a way to compute uh, the singular value decomposition of X in a way that doesn't require you to use a D by D matrix, but maybe a smaller one? Um, in the second exercise, um, we look at singular value decomposition for a particular type of matrix. So we look at the case where X is a symmetric matrix which is also square, of course. Um, so normally, any matrix has a singular value decomposition U as V transpose, where U and V are different. But what you're asked to prove here is that if the matrix is symmetric, then U and V are the same. And particularly, uh, the second part of the question, you should show that if X is also positive semi-definite, uh, then all the diagonal entries in S are positive as well. So little hint here is you should know uh, the properties of a symmetric matrix in terms of uh, transpose. So maybe you can start with that. Good luck and see you next week to discuss the solutions.